first open an image. Go on top, click file and then click open. So as you can see here, <laughs> I have this geek icon. So I'm going to choose that to create my animated GIF. So now here is the key concept behind animated GIFs. Here's how they work. So you are going to make changes to your artwork or create different versions of it. And then each of these changes or versions you are going to put in a separate layer. So then when you are done with your artwork, you play these layers of frames in sequence one by one really quickly, it will look like an animation. And for my case here, for this geek icon, I'm going to create a blinking animation. And to do that, I'm going to erase these eyeballs in some layers and keeping them in others. So now I'm going to hit Command or Control J on my keyboard to duplicate this layer. Command J if you are on a Mac and Control J if you are on Windows. So I'm going to create five different layers or versions of this artwork. And now let me name them one through five. Just to make it easier, of course. And now I am going to erase these eyeballs in some of the layers. All right, now my layers are perfectly organized now. So now let's create our animation. So now go on top, click window, and then click timeline. Once you do this, you see this new section on the bottom. So go on the bottom and click create frame animation. So then go to the right, click this menu icon, and then click make frames from layers. And now you can customize your GIF. You can adjust your timing for each frame or layer. Okay, let me set up the timing for my animation for this geek. All right, all right. So there you go. And let me hit play. So as you can see, I now have a nice, simple blinking animation. And also you can choose how many times you want your GIF to replay. By default, it is set up to be forever and really that's the best option. But if you want, you can customize that and make it replay a specific number of times. All right, we are done. So now to finalize everything, go on top, click file, click export, and then choose save for web. And finally, click save.